video, I'm going to show you how I play the main riff of YYZ by Rush. So if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe to see more. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. This part's hard. Well, let me throw a disclaimer out there first. I don't know if this is how he's playing it. I listened to the track, the isolated guitar track, and it doesn't sound like he's doing this for some, for some of it. But he is doing what I'm thinking he's doing on some of it, but I don't think he's playing it this way. I think he's doing something easier. I could be wrong, but to throw that out there, the way I'm trying to show you how to do it and the way I'm trying to play it is very difficult. It's Mainly it's just because of the speed. All right, so here's how it sounds slowly. Okay, so I'll show you how I'm doing it. First thing I'm doing is I got my pointer finger, second fret of the G. And I'm doing a down up, two notes. He's not just going. That's what I thought he was doing at first, but when I listened to it, he's going. He's hitting that twice every time. So, so I go down up. I use my ring finger. I pick down on the fourth fret of the D string. And then I pick back up on the second fret of the G string. And then back down to the fourth fret of the D string, I pick down again. And then I pick up on the third fret of the D, I use my middle finger. And then I pick down on the second fret of the D, using my pointer finger. And I pick down on the fourth fret of the A. The second time you repeat it, you go. You do the same thing, except you add this annoying little note. And now some people pick it. Uh, what I'm, what I find sounds the best is I, I hammer on there. So I go. I just hammer on right after the. Where I would normally go. Where I would usually pause, I go. I go to that note quickly. It's on the fourth fret of the A. I just hammer on that on the fourth fret of the A with my ring finger. And then I just my pointer finger down stroke second fret of the A. Fourth fret of the A. Down, up, down. And you ended up on the second fret of the E. So And that's the annoying part, okay? It doesn't sound like annoying now because we're going slow. So you alternate every other time. And then you do the same thing. You just move the whole thing up from the second fret of the, of the G to the fifth fret of the G, and you do the exact same thing. First time you do the exact same thing. But then he goes. He goes here. So he throws this in. What that is, I pick down, pick up, down and up on the fifth fret of the D. Pick down on the uh, seventh fret of the A. Pick up on the fifth fret of the D again. And go back and pick uh, down on the seventh fret of the A again. Again, it's not bad if it's slow. Then we go back to the beginning. Okay. The hard part is the, how fast it goes. It goes one. If you put if you put a um, metronome, it's 141. So. <laughs> So the hard part
part, obviously, is just the that, that one extra note he adds, and he doesn't do it all the time. He does do it sometimes, or at least it sounds like he's doing it sometimes. He might be might be doing it differently, but anyway, I think I don't think it's exactly right how I'm playing it, and I don't think it's right how other people are playing it. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just seems like he's doing something else, especially at the beginning part. But anyway, so that's the first part. Okay, so the next part is not bad. <laughs> Okay, and all that is, I'm taking my pointer finger, put it on the 8th fret of the G. I'm going to slide it up to the 9th fret of the G. I pick down on both of those. Then I pick down again, I use my ring finger, put it on the uh, 11th fret of the G. Then I pick down on the 7th fret of the D. Then I do it again. 8, 9, 11, and then bend. I'm bending a whole step. So he's doing that equivalent. You're just bending. All right, then you do it again. This time you go nine or eight, nine, eleven, and back to the seventh fret of the D. Then you get back to the ninth fret of the D. The next part is I took my pointer finger, put it on the fifth fret of the G, slide it up to the seventh fret of the G. Use my ring finger to hit the ninth fret of the G. I'm gonna do a little hammer-on pull-off a couple times. You know, with my pointer fingers hanging out in the seventh fret of the G, and then my ring fingers bouncing on and off the ninth fret of the G. I think it's like three or four times. Can't count that. Whatever that is. And then I just use my my middle finger to hit the eighth fret of the B. And I repeat it. This time I do it twice. I do it the same thing at the beginning. I also add this, which is just my pointer finger <clears throat> on the seventh fret of the B, and my middle finger doing the hammer on on the eighth fret of the B. And that is it. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe to see more. Peace out.